Hello, U.S. Eagle Congress participants. Uh, this is Insong Huang Eidan again. Uh, uh, this is my second lecture time. I'm happy to have this second lecture opportunity and uh, glad to see uh, many of you here. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm uh, Insong Huang Eidan from uh, South Korea, but living in Europe for about 10 to 15 years. Uh -huh. And I visit uh, U.S. Go Congress for like three, three, four times, uh, but I uh, couldn't come due to COVID. Uh, so I joined the uh, Eagle Congress 2020 and 2021, and hoping to join. Uh, it should be the Easter Park again, right? I'm told that. Uh, if so, then I hope to see many of you in the, the next year, uh, 2022. Anyway, uh, right, uh, East, East is Park, East, East is Park, okay. Anyway, uh, today the lecture topic is, uh, you know, how to avoid mistakes. So you all want to avoid mistakes, is it? If you lose the game, it's not because you couldn't find the best move, it's because you played more mistakes than your opponent, right? In, in general, in, in proof games as well, they play lots of good moves, you know, but good moves doesn't mean that it is like a Tetsuji, but just average moves. But uh, the one who makes more mistakes lose the game, right? So to reduce mistake is the, the best way to improve your strengths. And uh, I have lots of you know, experience on teaching because I review about 3,000 games per year. And while doing the, the reviews, I found lots of uh, common mistakes and I gathered them and found some patterns that what type of mistakes uh, people usually play in the down level and Q level and everything. So uh, it would be great if you get to know uh, what type of mistakes you make it. So today the lecture is how to avoid mistakes, but it's more like, you know, if you want to avoid mistakes, then you need to know uh, what the, the mistakes are. Uh, it comes in a randomly, but uh, if we get to know what type of mistakes you make it often, then I'm sure that you can uh, avoid them. Okay. So let's define your mistakes. That's the, the key. Uh, I found about four patterns uh, about the mistakes. So we're going to get to know uh, one by one. Okay. Uh, the first one, before that, before we start, we need to define uh, the mistakes. Uh, what are the mistakes like that? So look at this first case. Uh, black played, uh, white played Hane and black played this one attach and pip. The reason why black plays this exchanges and pip is to take care of this black's two stones, right? Okay, so black plays this pip and that pip comes quite often, but is it a good move? The answer is no, oh, it isn't a good move, right? Because, uh, why can push here and cut? Then uh, why can take this group like this, which happened in the game, uh, similar like that. Therefore, the game become really good for white. So black was hoping that white connects here, but it doesn't mean that white is weak to you know cannot see this cut. So white uh, black player is about uh, first Q in AJ, so he's strong enough to see this. But you know, uh, even though you you're strong enough to know this. This kind of mistakes comes. Right? So this kind of move is a mistake. However, uh, let's see in this case. The game goes like that, and later white attach it. So black exchange and hane, white exchange and block. Okay. So was that right? Or let's say white only. For black, we can also discuss about the black's moves, but just you know, only white we should check it. White attach it, black exchange. And Hane, uh, white played counter Hane and block. It looks everything was right for white, is it? Uh, however, in fact, there was one sort of you know uh, mistake, but it is like that. Before white plays Hane, uh, white should have played this attach. What if white attaches now? Uh, how should black react it? If black wants to make things simple or clean, then black should just extend, and there's no big deal. Then why gonna play Hane and block like this? Then this AB exchange turns as good exchange for white, is it? Because later 
uh, when y get a chance to move it, y can move like this to do, to do something, right? But uh, let's say if it was an exchange like actual game and y got a chance to attach, then play gonna play harder to block moving, be more difficult to handle than the other case. So y plays this attach now in this timing. So if black plays here, maybe white plays Hane, which is looking for this one. So again, Y can look for living later. Or if black cuts, then Y can make counter tardy or just cut. So there will be a big trouble. This kind of stuff, Y can use it. So it will be difficult for black to, to play in this way to give this cutting point like that. So here, extend Hane and block. Then we can say that this was the, the better way. But it doesn't mean that this Hane was a big mistake. Maybe that player is not strong enough to find the right timing like this. So we can say that this Hane isn't bad, but it wasn't the best move. It doesn't mean that it is a mistake. Okay? From the AI's point of view, everything's mistake. When you play 100 moves, maybe like 90 moves are mistakes. Is it? So we need to first define what are the mistakes that we are going to talk. So this Hane, that why couldn't find the right timing to probe like this, isn't really a mistake. But to play this move and overlook that why can cut here to easily take three, that is a mistake like that. Okay. So we need to start with this. With this, uh, say, uh, we need to define uh, what the, the mistakes we're going to talk. So. I said that I found like four patterns of the, the categories of mistakes. The first one, uh, it is simple. No, it is the thing that you would just agree and um, you don't need any you know, study to dis, uh, discover to find this kind of mistakes. So look at this game, Black's turn, you know, there's four stones on the board. Black approach it once and then extend like that. White approaches, exchange, okay. And this happened. So up to here, uh, do you prefer black or white? If you can choose the color, then maybe some of you prefer black, some of you white. Uh -huh. okay. um, according to the AI program, up to here, it's like 70% uh, for white. That doesn't mean much for you know, the Q players or even the low down players or even middle down players as well. Doesn't mean much. But it's so clear that the game must be good for one at this point because Black made a couple of mistakes or even more than that. First of all, Black's approach, wise answer up to here, it's quite natural and everything's right. However, this one is unusual. Normally, instead of this one, Black extends two spaces like that. Uh, well, black may come this like that, but here it's too narrow. It's too narrow distance. If black had this one, then most of you would have noticed that it is a mistake because it is a bit too you know, narrow extension, right? So that is the narrow extension, first mistake. And second mistake is this one, that black chose this pattern. Uh, if you know this as the pattern, then you should update your knowledge because it is good for white. In the most of the cases that your opponent makes this position, then it is nowadays considered as the good result for uh, white. For instance, this pin song is disappeared. That happened in which game was it? Um, AlphaGo and Lisado's game in 2016, the game one. Is it Lisado played this one? Okay. And uh, AlphaGo played this, attach and pull back. Is it? So if that position comes, attach and pull back, you know, that too, then most of the cases it's considered as a good result for white, no matter what. Uh, so that's the reason why most of the pincers got disappeared. This pincer as well, while attaches and pull back, it is good for white. Okay. So uh, instead of that, normally black attaches here to take lots of points in this way, because compared to this one, we can see a huge point difference. So we can say that Black didn't know this. Black did not update the knowledge. So that's why I gave this as the you know, wise privilege. Okay. And even before AlphaGo, you know, this is the pattern that probably many of you know this as the proper pattern. But even, even before AlphaGo, like 2000, 
around 2000 already you know, disappeared. It's because it's considered as a good result for white. People already felt that it is good for white. So uh, this wasn't a pattern since like 2000. Anyway, uh, so this was a mistake. And after that, like, this one is also a bit too uh, black. This left side isn't really big. So black should have played elsewhere. Like enclosing like this, or black may approach to this one somewhere else like this. So that is also a mistake. Therefore, the game is good for white like this. So the first, it is like that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the lack of ability. The reason why black got behind up to now, it's because black didn't know that it was a pattern, so not the right pattern move. And this is also not the pattern anymore. So due to knowledge and Look at this game as well. <coughs> yeah. That is a difficult pattern, isn't it? So if you are strong Q, you probably uh, have played or tried this one. Uh -huh. OK. Uh, white plays this, black plays here, and ha uh, black plays here, and white plays Hane. Okay. So probably some of you already noticed that something went wrong. Because this isn't the right one. To push is the right pattern. To push, black plays H and A. White connects, then black goes down. White cuts like this. Or if white plays H and A, then more difficult patterns come. Okay. So that is, you know, uh, that after the AlphaGo 3-3 invasion, this is considered as the most difficult uh, variation. But white couldn't even go because white played this mistake. So how to punish it? How would you punish as black? Uh -huh, yes, so second lecture. I usually do not make the public lectures, uh, only in the US Congress and the European Congress. But European Congress is canceled. US, Con US Congress goes on E mode. So hmm. that's nearly only the public lecture that I make it. <laughs> Uh huh. Yes, black and caught. Black and caught, and then maybe caught and Atari. So that is working. So ladder is working, right? Therefore, the game becomes really good for black. So like that, uh, white made this pattern mistake, which is a knowledge mistake. Therefore, black makes points. So uh, if you have a lack of ability, which can be knowledge, it can be reading, or it can be you know technical part. For instance, this game. Why play this one in order to separate them? And uh, why made it uh, separated? So what should black do? If you can find uh, the move with your first intuition, it means that you have a good technical intuition. So this name, uh -huh, the place, where should black play to punish? Yeah. Why is this? Overplay. Actual game, black played Atari. So white connects and white just clearly separate the group. So uh, it was good for white. Okay. So instead of this one, instead of this Atari, yes, black had to attach. Okay. This is the one. Uh, if black attaches here, then uh, for instance, white plays Hane, black can cut an extent. Then once this group is uh, stuck in this area, so to be good for black, black takes that. So I need to play like uh, this one to look for making connection, but black can play a tardy. So still it is not working. Okay. So black need to try this kind of stuff. For instance, exchange first, and then look for this one. That is the right technical move. But black couldn't find it, so it was good for white. And after that, game goes like this, and white blocked it. Black attach it once, and then black decide not to save it because black couldn't find a way to save. So instead, what's the, the good move that black could save this group? There are several options, uh, but there is one clear option, which is uh, this one. Okay. If black plays here, uh, black can play Hane too, but that one, if black plays, then black can make the connection like this, while white plays here, black plays Hane. 
you can save the group inside. So this is the right, you know, technical move like that. But Black did not have good technical intuition, so ability, so couldn't find. So first one is very simple, lack of ability. So if you find many of uh, this kind of reading mistakes, then you need to focus on the reading part. You make lots of uh, pattern mistakes, then you need to study patterns. So like that. Uh, the first one is simple, just lack of ability uh, on knowledge part, reading part, technical part like this. So you should, uh, uh, how to say, uh, study on this part if you know it. And the second one, from here it is more important. Uh, look at this case, black attach it, ER, and invade to 3-3. Three, three. Uh, do you know this skill, attach and 3-3? Three, three? That is quite good skill that you can use it uh, in the most of the case that your opponent kick uh, with this A and play this uh, night move and close up. So this one was very good. And while this one was also a good reaction and black, uh, the proper reaction in general. So black cuts and then go out. So the fight started and black played here, black played here. And white cut and black push, black push, but oh, got killed. So mistake, is it? <laughs> Black's group got just killed. So the game ended, uh, nearly ended here. Uh, it was AJ one down, two down levels game. So it doesn't mean that this player is weak, so cannot see this, right? But that kind of, you know, blunder, use mistake comes sometimes. So why do you think that this kind of mistake comes? That one, and one more case that I brought it. Uh, Black was leading this game, and Black banned here, which was a good uh, end game point. However, why push, why push, why cut, and then why attach it? So there was a big trouble, is it? So even in this case, Black had to connect, to let Y connect, but cut. Then Black can minimize the damage and still can grab the win. However, instead of this connection, black played this one. So let Y cut. And that cut, you know, it snapped back that uh, Y can take it. And even it left another cutting point. So after Y erases a lot more points than the other one, Y won this game by you know, some point. So that is also a sort of blunder mistake. Uh, but you may say that it is a reading mistake. But it is not really a reading mistake. It's reading, uh, reading mistake that Black overlook, that uh, Black thought that Black can bring this good about. But this is more like go I problem. Your go I is not used to see this kind of case, easy case. Therefore, just made an illusion. Your go I illusion. Therefore, this kind of mistakes come. Because that player is a down level player. It's not weak to, to see, uh, overlook this one. Strong enough to see this, of course. But mistake comes because of the go eye problem. Your go eyes just cannot see. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So this kind of situation comes to the, the players who have lack of game experience. If you have a lack of game experience, then you have, uh, say, uh, you already achieved uh, some, some level, certain level, but uh, the lack of experience cannot feed up, cannot feed up that uh, part like this. Need go glasses, but it is like that. I explain in this way, you know, let's say go game is like the candy collecting game that you col uh, collect more candies than your opponent, then you win. And candies are just on the ground. So you just go outside in a limited time, take uh, more candies than your opponent, like that. So then what do you need? If you just go with, you know, and take with your bare hands, then there will be, you know, limited amount of candies that you can bring it. So you would need like a basket, is it? You need the, the, the candy basket. Uh, if you have a bigger basket, then you would have more, uh, opportunity to get uh, more candies than your opponent. So bag of tricks like that. So how big uh, bags uh, you have, uh, that is the thing. Okay? So let's say there are two players 
and one guy have a big one so you can put like let's say 100 candies and the other one has only 50 you know candy quantity box then who's gonna win you think the guy who has a uh, hundred, you know, the, the bigger box, right? Because he can put hundred. But uh, if uh, after the, the fight, you know, they they come and I see the, the candy, the box, basket, then the guy who has a hundred size candy basket has only 20 candies, candies inside. And the 50 bucks candy guy has 40 candies. Then this guy wins, right? So when I see the Western goal players and Eastern goal players, Eastern goal players are holding small bags, small baskets. So their ability itself isn't really strong. However, they have tons of experience. So their box is always full. So they can already always bring like, you know, if they have 50 candy basket and they can bring 50 or sometimes 48, sometimes 52 like this. But the Western players, they have bigger bucks. They have more theories, more knowledge. But when I see their bucks, then the, the basket is empty. It's because they believe that when they get to know something, they believe that they just you know, understood it. OK, I know. Therefore, I know it like that. But I know is not connected to I can play in this game of golf. I don't know to I know is one stage. You need to know something. But from I know to I can play, there must be something in between, which is experience. So you need to have experience, certain amount of experience to, to express what you know. But if you only know but couldn't play in your games, then you cannot make it. That kind of mistakes I found a lot. So. Uh, I just want to emphasize the importance of the experience. You need to uh, play many games. Uh, the, the third one, look at this case. Black played this Han and Link, and white played this one. Is this a good move, B15? To get into Black's area. Good or bad, you guess? Uh huh. Okay, but that is a you know known move nowadays, right? It is. Yes, it is a good move in general, but not in this case. So it is like that. In this position, let's say it is Y's turn. So Y comes here. Then it is a good move. It is looking for this move to escape. Or if Black plays any other places at the outside, Y comes here. To look for saving the group. Why can save? So it is good. So this guy, how did this move? So okay, I, I know this move because I learned it, and then played it. But he should uh, he used it in the wrong timing. Black already exchanges this, so already closed the, the corner. Shouldn't come, because then black can play here to kill, like this. So you uh, this guy knew this move but didn't know when to use it due to the lack of game experience. But this turns as the experience, very bitter experience. But anyway, you know, bitter experience, mother, uh, the failure is mother of success. That theory comes here. Okay? So uh, he will get it. Uh, but that kind of process is important. I got to know this move. Yes, I, I know this move because I, I heard it uh, and then play, but in the wrong timing. So here as well, um, so when black invade here, white play diagonal move to threat this. Black play this one, black cut, and white play here. So black's turn, where would you play? Look at this shape. Maybe some of you know this. Where should black go? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Oh, so you guys have enough uh, experience then. So let me show this one then. Look at this case, that is the, the general case. Black invade here, 
white plank dog you're gonna move, black push and cut, uh, black push and then uh, black may cut. But in this position, where should black play? What's the, the good move in general? In general, good move is M2. Black play is here to look for A and B as me I. It's like a book move. In the, let's say, the technique dictionary, you can find this. This is the usual technique. You just you know, descend to the second line and look for A and B as uh, me I, like that. So in this game, black invade, white play here. And after this, black play this one. In order to apply this. So in, it was the wrong case. Black play here, so white got a chance to play this one. It was quite tough. Black still has a chance to save. Black couldn't make it, but anyway, uh, that wasn't right. The right move here must be just Atari connect because it is working. Is it? Black didn't need any theory to find a solution. What does Black need then? What Black need here was a practical solution. Oh, my opponent cut and tried to surround me. What should I do? Oh, Atari sent it. So I play one Atari and go like this. So if you play many games, for instance, when you play against in the, the Fox server or Taizen to you know, play against Chinese or Korean players, they play many of these kind of practical moves. Just, okay, if you ask them, why did you play here? Then they will say, ah, because it looks working like that. But when I ask this kind of same question to the Western players, why did you play? Ah, it's because in the pattern, it, you know, works like that. And usually that's the right shape. That kind of, you know, answer comes. So before you find a solution through, with your goal brain or theory, you should just find a practical solution first. But uh, often the Western goal players who has a lack of game experience, they try to find a solution all the time by their theory, by their, you know, brain. No problem comes. When you go to the restaurant, you, you see the menu because you need to choose the, the menu, what you wanna have. Like you wanna have hamburger, you wanna have a chicken nugget or something like that, is it? Then you have some you know, theories. Oh, in the past I had hamburger, but I had a stomach ache. So this time I'll choose another one, something like that, is it? So you need to use your brain to choose it. And after that, uh, the food came and you use a uh, knife and Fork to fork to to you to eat it. Then you don't think, is it? Uh, when you're using them, you don't find the most efficient way to cut the hamburger or to bring it to your mouth. But you don't think that you just bring the mouth, you know, unconsciously. But you think, should I bring it to my nose or should I put it into my ears or eyes? You don't think like that. You just naturally do because that's the practical step. Right? So that kind of stuff. This is the thing that you should use your practical ideas, not the theoretical ideas. But Black used it in the wrong timing. Uh, now, often the person who has lack of game experience, they put the right theory in the wrong situation. And that is uh, the case. Do you guys play correct spondon games? Correspondent games on the like Dragon Go server, and I think the OGS is now possible to do, right? I believe that the correspondent games are really fun, but that's really, uh, how to say, a poison for the rear go. Okay. The rear go need to have a time setting, and you need to have a you know, so, sort of suspense feeling, and you need to have the actual game intuition to find the solution in, in the limited time with you know, the game pressure. But you just cut all the things and just looking for finding the theoretical moves. When you get used to it, then you make these kind of mistakes. So you can do that for your fun or your joy, but if you want to improve uh, your actual strengths, your level, then you better stop. You better stop using the correspondent games. Okay, anyway, so that two problems. You either make the go eye problem that you just overlook, uh, so some simple stuff, simple 
you know, reading stuff like that. This isn't the reading problem. It can be a reading problem, but uh, if I get to know the person's style of play, uh, I mean, if I get to know my students, you know, personally, their personal style of play, then uh, I can put it into that the lack of game experience part. So I can tell that the game experience is really important. Otherwise, you would find you will apply the right theory in the wrong case like that. Okay. So that's it. So here's the thing, lack of ability and lack of game experience. But lack of game experience is, you know, game experience is as important as abilities, other abilities like knowledge. So I hope you uh, take more importance on this. And these are like a Go hardwares. If your Go is like a computer, then these two are the hardwares. If you play more games, if you get more theories, if you get more knowledge, if you get more reading ability, then your hardware uh, in increases. So you had only like one giga memory, but become two giga memory, four giga memory like that, okay? the hardware. And the third one from the third and the fourth, both are like software problems. Uh, so if you change this software, then you can improve. Hardware, you can change, but more like upgrading. You need to upgrade your hardware and the software here. Uh, look at the sequence first. Black attached and Hane to look for saving the group. White played Atari, connect. Black connect. White tries to attack. Black push twice and connect. So, okay, Black saved and White saved outside. So, how do you feel? Is everything okay? Let me show you again. Black uh, attach it and Hane. Okay, reasonable, is it? Uh, white Atari and connection, okay. So black made a connection, white pips. Black push twice and connect. So white saved the one stone and black takes one stone, white saved it. Okay. Good for black or good for white, first of all? It's a good result for black because black saved it pretty well in wise area. Okay. It, it was wise area that white has three more stones. Is it black has one stone, white has four, but black saves the group uh, easily like that. Is it? Okay, so it is good for black. Uh, and any mistake did you find from white side? The mistake what white made here, up to this one, it was all fine. Okay, fine. Huh? Push didn't work. What does that mean exactly? Huh? This is the moment that push wasn't working. Why it just blocked it? How? Unconsciously. Just, oh, okay, my opponent pushes here, and oh, I shouldn't give the cut. Of course, I need to block like that. But instead, I had to play this one. Okay. If I play CR, then when black goes, I can connect to cut that four stones and kill. That's great. Okay. Or black captures, then I can surround, so it's even better. Right. Therefore, that push was a overplay. Black had to block. If black blocks, why gonna block? Black cuts and capture, then why didn't need an extra move here? In this position, there was, you know, one extra move for Y, because otherwise there was a cut. This cut can be annoying. But in this case, cut isn't really a big deal. But so I can't handle it. That's why it was a good result for Black. So why do you think that uh, Black just pushes here unconsciously and White also blocks unconsciously? Because they have fixed ideas. Okay. Ah, in general, okay, push is sent there. Oh, in general, oh, my opponent can go out, so I need to block like this. So unconsciously block it. Sometimes it comes because you play quickly, but it's more like your you know, fixed idea problem. Look at this case as well. It's a bit complicated. Uh, left side, white's turn, white played this Atari and uh, made a connection. So black abandoned that two stones. So black pushed twice, Atari pushed, okay, and then black jumped, so white took it, and white uh, black pushed and white tenuki. Is there any mistake? It looks quite natural and good negotiations. 
uh, that white takes, you know, collect lots of points and black takes outside. Looks just okay, right? Uh huh. D14, oh, you got it at, you know, one shot. Very good. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, why play this Atari? Why need to play here? And black just abandoned it. That was also good. However, when black covers, why shouldn't play this one? Because that is quite small one. Even if I takes that, why can take only like four points? Four or five. And if black takes it, black gonna have two points. So it is seven points worth. If you look the whole board, then you can easily see that uh, Tenuki is a lot better. Or even uh, locally, where's the good move for white? Yes, exactly. It fixes the cut. So it means that white need to cut now. If I cut now, then it's a huge problem. Black doesn't have time to take this one stone because we're going to extend. The black's influence has gone. And it's even a weak group because it has only one eye. And that two stone is in danger. So why should have played here? But unconsciously, the games that I showed, these are not the game from the double digit Q level. Uh, it's the European 2Q level player's game. And European 2Q is converted like the American one or two down. So in that level, this kind of mistake comes because you believed it. And that kind of mistakes comes um, because you don't ask why, but you only ask how. When Black plays here, oh, my opponent tries to do something. How can I solve this problem? That's the question that you had it unconsciously. This player had it. So how to solve? Oh, I know the, re uh, the, the answer. I can play here. So then there's nothing like this. But he didn't ask. Why? Why do I need to answer like this? Then problem solved. If you come out of this kind of fixed idea, then you need to know the reason why. But it's quite difficult to ask why in the, the general stuff. When black pushes here, why didn't ask why why need to block? Why only thought how to block this? How to block? Oh, I, need, I can block like that. But you know, why? Why do I need to blow? Is there anything else? Then why can find the, the better move? If you want to come out of this trap, then why question you may ask it, especially when you have a strong uh, opinion. Oh, my opponent played here. And this kind of move comes very quickly because you strongly believe it. If you believe more strongly, then it means that you need to suspect even more. Okay. So ask why. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, habit. So when you do the things in a bad habit, you don't ask why. You just do it because you are used to it. Black approaches here. How should Y react it? Let me give you some options. What may just answer? Or what may attach here? Or pin song, this one or this one? Okay. How should Y react it? Mm, good. Uh -huh. The reason why I ask here, because I want to put you into my trap. Yeah, trick question. So that is the question that you get it. When your opponent approaches here, then, oh, should I answer or should I pin stop or should I attach like B or like that? But Enuki, okay? In, instead, where should I go? Why well, need to block here? R14. That is so big. It's so big because why can have you know nice area on the right side, but naturally you get this question. Okay. So not me. Your opponent would track a uh, trick like that. Will make you tricked. Uh, this case as well. While approaches here, uh, which is good, mm -hmm. and then attach and uh -huh, wedge and link. Actually, again, wide answer here to save this cutting point. So this is A, right? So is this A okay or B, the strong connection better? Or why I had to connect here or this one? Which connection is the best? Is A, the actual game move best or something else? 
That is also a same question that Y had it himself. But the right answer is, you know, Tanuki. Why can Tanuki? Why should not answer? Why well, need to play like here? If I place this one to block it, then why can threat this group? Or why can even go down, look for making connection? Then this whole group is weak. But oh, what if black cut? Why it may connect to five? Or even if I give it like this, that's not a big deal. Because it is surrounded anyway. One can take a uh, center to play somewhere else. So it was already done. Why is this exchange already blocks Black's jumping? Without this, if there was nothing, then Black would have played this one. Is it? But because of this pivot and attach and block like that, why it already blocked that? So well done. So why should Tanuki? But why had a fixed idea that I need to fix this weakness problem? But who said that? Okay. Uh, this player strongly believed, but that is the fixed idea. So when you strongly believe in something, when you play Go, then you should suspect more. That, okay, I want to defend. How to defend? That was the question that I asked it. But you should ask, why? Why do I need to defend? What if I don't defend like this? Especially the, the, the players, who plays in a very soft way, uh, they have this issue that they only take care of their weakness and just you know answer right away. And sometimes this kind of, uh, what is it? Uh, the fixed idea comes as well. Why pushes here to separate the group and black save the lower side group? Okay. And why play the Atari, uh, exchange ones, okay? Why play the Atari and why decide not to go? Uh, because why check the ladder? Uh, is the ladder working? Oh no, ladder isn't working like that. So why decide not to do and use the ladder breaker and black tanuki? Black didn't play here, but black can extend. So uh, black got a chance to threat this. <laughs> uh huh. Mm hmm. <laughs> Why, why do I play Go? Yeah, because it's fun, isn't it? But, uh, you know, why do I play this move? That should be a good question. Anyway, Black had to uh, Tanuki. Uh, so Black Tanuki, therefore it was good for Black. So the question is, okay, so this is like one side re uh, reading a fixed idea. Why play the Atari and why so the ladder? That ladder isn't working. So when the ladder is working, what's the next step for you? Ladder is not working. Okay, let's use the ladder breaker. That was what I uh, thought. So why use the ladder breaker? But it wasn't really powerful. But instead, no, instead of this, you know, one direct thinking, why had to think about the net? The net. Why can cover? If I covers and then connect. Then it is working. Uh, black can try like this, but it's not possible to save it. That easy. I had to do. So when you set one direction, after that, you should not believe that it is the best direction. You need to find a tree. You need to make a branch to check other options. But often people go straight and blocked at the straight way, then just come back and find another option. But you need to go check some other options and make a you know, tree. And these are the very often played end game mistakes that I brought it. Uh, look at this A. Many people play this one, like throw in Atari, because they got used to make the Dames Mari shape. So they just throw in first and think later. But of course, Black should just Atari. And compared to throw in, there is two points difference. And the B case as well. How should Black handle this end game? What's the best end game here? Mm -hmm. Black should just play here. There's nothing special. Why gonna connect? Black plays here, white answers. That's it. Then why gonna have three points here up to this F line? 
but instead black frozen capture atari connect and block so if this exchange comes how many points does black does white have it five points it was three but now five so two points damage so it shouldn't do and this one on, not only q players i also find it in dan level's game as well she how do you do end game the right end game is Hane. Just Hane and exchange like this, right? But instead, uh, some, sometimes I find this move. The black connects and then Hane. Uh, like this. And then connect. Then which one is better? This one and uh, this one. Oppa. One and this one. Uh, uh, here. So can you see the, the difference? between these two. This one is better because white has only one point here. But, but this one has two points. So, oh, this attach, uh, that's a good move because black can erase one point more. But, but black lose sent there. So instead, black should just play Hane. Just Hane is the better one. But many people play like that. And here, look at the upper right corner. White plays Hane and Link. How should black answer? Black need to defend. If black doesn't defend, then white can clamp. So there will be a trouble. Let's say there will be a trouble like that. Then how to answer? Naturally, people answer like that because it's the, the common answer, common option. But in this case, black need to play here because then you save your one point. You don't need to defend it. And your opponent's one point is reduced compared to this one. So it's two points plus like that. So that kind of fixed ideas, you should uh, fix it uh -huh, to the new one, to the right one. And this one that I you know, find it in the uh, review, in my game reviews, white attaches and black answered. So white pushes, black jump to the middle and white plays on and link like that. Okay. So it was good for white, is it? White collect lots of points. So when white attaches, how should black react it? No, sente, it's same, you know. Uh, in that case, white need an answer anyway. Uh, black need an answer anyway. In this case, black need an answer. In this case, black need an answer, but just have two more points. So. You know, spend the turn with two more points is better, right? Anyway, so when white attaches, how should black react it? The extent we, we checked. Okay? Instead, black can play Hane, or black can play the other Hane, like this. Okay? Maybe these are better, like this one, because actual game, black extend, white push. And why even play this one was quite okay for white. But when white attaches here, uh, playing it to react like A or maybe like B, like C, these are the fixed ideas. The good move is this one. Black can ignore. What if black ignores it? Why cannot go? Because black gonna play Hane, extend, then why is Hui Group is in danger? Is it? So, when black attaches, why well, need to play like Hane? Then black plays counter Hane. Then there will be this one. So there will be a huge trouble. So maybe why well, need to Hane to this one? Then black makes the connection underneath and Hane. So there will be a trouble as well. So like this. When white attaches, in fact, white is weak, so black can ignore even. But if you are uh, in the, the mode that, oh, my opponent touches, I need an answer, then mistake comes. So the fixed idea. Uh, if you only think about how, then you cannot find the right answer. How to react like this. But the right question is, why? Why do I need an answer? Is there anything else? What if I don't like this? And it would be great. Okay, the last one. So up to here, uh, we found uh, no, three cases, lack of ability, lack of experience, game experience, and 
the fixed ideas. That's three uh, are the, the most often played mistakes. And the fourth one, this is the most important because um, most of the mistakes I found it in this way. Uh, look at this game first, Black's turn, Black played this one. So, okay, unknowing, so white answered. Black push, uh, exchanges, and Black plays Hane, Atari, Atari, connect. So how do you feel? Is it, or everything uh, looks okay? Or do you feel something, something wrong? Once again, uh -huh. Black play here to erase this, so why defend it? Push once, exchange, Atari, Atari, and answer. Okay. But for Black, it's well done for Black. However, there are two mistakes, two you know, big mistake on both sides, one mistake each. I really got a lot of points with their essay group. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first question comes here. When black plays this, how should Y react? The result was good for black okay, in the end. So it means that uh, Y did something wrong. So what's the better option? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Right. Uh -huh. Good. I see good options. Uh, if you, it is like that. When opponent plays here, there are two type of answers that you answer somewhere around A and you answer somewhere around B. If your move goes to B, it means somewhere around B, it means that you don't look your weakness, but you look your opponent's weakness. Is it? There are always two sides. When, when you play the goal, game of goal, in every single moment, you have your weakness. You have some you know, problems. And your opponent also has the problems or weaknesses at the same time. But which part you look, that decides your games, that decides your style of play. So in this position, when black plays this move, if I look, if you look only a part that, oh, should I answer here? Should I answer here? or should I answer here, or this kind of stuff, then you are the passive type player, that you look only your weakness. But if you look, the B side, oh, okay, what about this, what about this, what about this, like that, then it means that you are the active, aggressive type player. It doesn't mean that uh, one side is better, but what I know is that you need to have both. Sometimes you should show your power with aggressive and uh, technical moves, and sometimes you should just be easy, especially when you are leading the game. In this case, what was behind and uh, why should not just step back? Instead, the good move here was this attach, which is quite a unusual move. Normally you do not attach to the diagonal move like that because the oppon opponent can easily make tiger mouth. But if black does make tiger mouth, why can extend? And that black's group is already being separated. Is it like this or like this? So separated and dead, right? Therefore, after white attaches, maybe black should play Hane underneath to look for making connection. And white plays counter Hane and extend. They need to take it, but white can even save the group. White can bring this group out because these are sent there. White shouldn't exchange, but I uh, play here in order to make things clear. Okay? Because of that, it is working. White is, black is in trouble, right? So it's possible. Why well, had a chance to play this one or anything like this to look for card or this one, anything? Uh huh. Okay. Uh, that is a theory that you can apply in the, the right case or wrong case. But in this kind of actual case, that kind of theory doesn't help because you have a ring. And if you put it into your uh, ear, then it turns to earring. And if you put it into your nose, then it turns to piercing or here or you know, your lips like that. So you can put it to everywhere. It, it's you know, situational, it, uh, but that, it's not the case that you apply the theory. It's just the case that you find a solution or not. And 
you can apply the theories which works here or otherwise not. So theory doesn't matter. Uh, you cannot find the solution by theory in this kind of case. You should find a solution by practical moves, which just looks working. Okay, anyway, the point is, whether you look A side or B side, which is your side or your opponent's side, white look white side, therefore white made tons of slack moves. What about black? Now black's turn, what's the, the best action for black here? No, that is, you know, get better at the reading. It is only one part, lack of ability. If you think that you have a problem in the reading part, then you need to go to that part. You solve the problem after you get better reading ability without any, you know, theoretical uh, part or without knowledge. You don't know pattern, but only reading. If your reading is extremely strong, then it's possible, but you cannot be strong at only one part in this game of Go. So that is not right. And so your reading become uh, much stronger so you uh, fix your fixed ideas, you cannot. So it's not, not connected. Okay. Anyway, black should just pull back. Yes, black need to extend. If black extend, then black's problem A has gone, but Y's problem B is still there. So Y need to answer and black can take center. But black plays Atari and connect. Therefore, white black both lost uh, uh, to solve the problems. Therefore, white took center to play as well. So black had to extend. So uh, black was an aggressive type player. That's why this was a overplay. Black should go only this much, but black goes here and succeed. And then black made so many Ataris because black was the aggressive player and aggressive players make actions. They really like to make actions. And here as well, black pushes and white cuts and black plays Hane and connection Atari. How should white answer for this lower side group? Actual game white extend, but this extension was a mistake because it left this weakness. After black's attach, white couldn't connect because of the cut. So I had to step back, even white steps back like that. So black uses this one as center. Now you see that black has the living possibility. So black can just ignore, uh, just uh, feel free from this and escape like this. So black had a chance to solve two problems. But instead of this one, what if I look only black's weakness, which is this one, if I play CR, then there's nothing what black can do. So black has no, uh, eye space here. But white's connection is also a bit thin, but doesn't matter because white can save it. So white become weaker, but black become much weaker. But here, white becomes stronger, but black become much stronger. Then in this case, it is better for black. So white had to play here because white need to look uh, black's weakness. But white look white's weakness more, therefore slack moves came. So like that. Uh, if you look your opponent's weakness, then you make uh, you know, more, more aggressive moves and therefore you make mistakes. And if you look your weakness too much, then you play slack moves, therefore you make uh, mistakes in that part. The aggressive type players, when they get this kind of move, for instance, you know, your opponent pips here, how would you answer? Your group is in danger. Black should just connect. If black connects it, then there are many center moves that black can use it. That black can play A later, maybe B, maybe C, maybe D, E, F, everything is center. So it's quite difficult for white to handle this kind of case. But actual game, when white pips, black uses this one, this one, and this one. So after using all these center moves, white is already connected. So I can cover an attack directly here or here. So instead of this one, black had to just connect. So often aggressive type players, they wanted to exchange many things like this one. Black goes out and black plays here. Okay, Atari connect. Is there anything wrong? 
you detect it. It's quite simple case. You know, black had to go out, black goes out. Atari, Atari connect. Okay, looks fine. Black uh, moves out well. But yes, Atari. Black shouldn't play this Atari. Uh, if black just goes out, then later black may go out here. So why need to capture here anyway? Then black doesn't need this move. Black may tenuki even. Right? Like this. They play, uh, you know, aggressive type players, they make actions. No action means bad for them. But no action means no action. It doesn't mean that it is bad or good. It's just no action. So uh, if you think that you are the aggressive type players, then you need to be careful because you make this kind of mistakes. Okay. So it is like that. The style of play, right? style of play mistake is really everywhere. So when I once discover one style of play, then I can detect so many similar cases, similar mistakes in their games. So once I said that you are the calm type player, then you make so many, you know, the, the calm type make uh, play mistakes. So before defining your mistakes, it's not easy to know. But once I discover one style of play, then it's so easy. And most of them, uh, when I indicate like 10 mistakes, then nearly eight mistakes are connected to the style of play. For instance, here, black invite and white block, and black exchanges these moves, therefore, white, mm, black made a big trouble. Okay. You see that uh, black separate white group, so it was really good for black. So black invite here, and this, so what was white's mistake already? That is a big trouble already. Can you detect Y's mistake? Black played here, black played here, sent there, sent there, and then Hane. It looks Y did nothing wrong because Y just answered black sent there moves. But Y made a mistake, which is this one. Why, why did Y mistake and uh, make mistake here? What's the better move? The good move here was Hane. If I place Hane and blow, then it was dead. Okay. Like that. Black is dead. So had to play like that. But why do you think that this white player did not play the other connect? Is it because he has a low reading ability? It's because white has low, you know, technical ability that white overlooked this, you know. Uh, what is it, the Dames Mari, like this? Uh, it can be a fixed idea, but I got to know this guy's style of play, that this guy is too passive go player. He plays so passive moves. And this is the style of play mistake. He only check his weakness. Oh, my opponent plays here. What my opponent can do? Oh, my opponent can play this one. Therefore, I need to connect and then connect it. So it is not the fixed idea problem. It's not the reading ability problem. It's the style of play problem. Okay. So uh, style of play. You are the slave of your uh, style of play. Okay. Your goal, your goal style of play. So if you're the calm type player, you look only your opponent's, your weakness, and then save your weakness, and try to solve the case by only the territory away. If you're the aggressive type player, then you look only your opponent's weakness and just you know left your open door behind. Or keep looking for making actions, even if you're leading the game. So it is very important to discover your style of play. But you should be careful. You cannot uh, define, uh, discover your style of play yourself. You maybe believe that, oh, I'm this type of player that I'm strong at this part, I'm weak at this part like that, but you should not believe it. Uh, many people came to me before joining my school and they just informed me that, okay, I'm, I played like you know, 15 years and I have this problem, I have a, this strength like that. And then later when I check some games, it's totally different. That is already a fixed idea that I'm this type of player, if you believe so. So it's, a good idea to ask around 
to your go friends or teacher to get a teacher and then uh, to get the analysis of your style of play to be great because then you would know uh, what type of player you are therefore you will enjoy that part first of all because you will get to know what go player you are and uh, you will fix your problems anyway uh, the four mistakes uh, I review, you know, 3,000 games per year. It's been already like um, seven, eight years I did like that. Uh, so when I review games, I found that four type of mistakes. First, it comes from the lack of ability. The second, it comes from the lack of experience. You have enough ability, but you, you have big, you know, candy basket, but you don't have candy inside. So that is the lack of experience problem. And after that, the fixed ideas. Okay. Like you apply the right theory in the wrong case. And the fourth one is style of play. Okay. You play in, in, you have your own approach of goal and you cannot fix it easily. Therefore you make the similar type mistakes and often it comes as the overplay or slack moves. So today we discovered what type of mistakes comes often? And you got to know how to avoid them, like fixed ideas, why question is the one that you can avoid it. So we discovered the mistakes, so please think about it. And when you play the next games, please mind this, and I'm sure that you can block it. Lastly, you know, uh, my online goes cool. Let me advertise a bit. Uh -huh. I have American League and the European League, for, uh, so the European League is sometimes uh, fit for the retired American goal players because it comes like six hours earlier. And uh, we have uh, 12 leagues in uh, AYD, American League, and 15 leagues in EYD, European League. Uh, it has like, you know, from the 6 down level to 12 Q. So I think most of you are in that level. So if you'd like to play a serious game online on a regular base, then you can play like five games a month or three months, one season, so 15 games. Uh, after taking all 15 games, I share the personal report to you know, let you know which type of goal player you are. And you know, I analyze your games in, uh, go in 11 parts, the reading part or opening part, technical part, or knowledge part, something like that. And uh, I will give you the study plan, personal study plan. And there are nine lectures a season, three lectures per month about this, this kind of stuff. So if you're interested in studying in a serious way, please think about it. And there is an auction, uh, auction about uh, you know, the season player ticket. Uh, it costs 330 US dollars. But now it's you know beating only 200. I donated for the US Eagle Congolans. So if you beat it, then maybe you can get it in you know lower price. So think about it. Uh, if someone gives the the link, ah oh, okay, good. Uh, <laughs> thank you. It'd be great. So please check it and uh, let me know if you're interested in. Uh, there are already about you know 27 leagues, six people in one league, so 100. Wow. Well, where was it? 162 players are paying uh, that amount and joining the program. So uh, it, it gives the guarantee that it's uh, working. It's working like for 10 years. If you want to discover your style of play and study, go seriously and get some new ideas, then please check the website. Thank you. So this was my second and the last lecture of the US Eagle Congress. I hope you enjoyed Congress and I really, really hope to see us in real uh, in the year after. Okay. So take care, uh, stay uh, safe and healthy uh, and to see all of you in the next Congress. Bye-bye.